What's a video of mine without an error? I always have mistakes in here. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to play with makeup again. I picked this up a while ago on sale and I'm freshly self tanned so I'm hoping that this matches. And I also have an idea. I want to put these two to the test. I used the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder a while ago. Is my mic working? Yes. I liked it, but I want to test it again against a powder that I really like because I felt like it did add a little bit of texture in my pore area in here. So I'm going to put them side by side and see if there's a difference. Maybe it was my imagination. It could have been what I used underneath as well, but I know that the house labs, there's another one. There's a few favorite powders that I like. There's a few, but I pulled this one out. I love Laura Mercier blur powder. I love the hourglass veil setting powder. I'm really enjoying the one from Fluorescent. So I will check this out side by side and do a comparison. I still have the cough. Goodness, it is hanging on. And then the rest of my makeup, I'm going to try and do a nice Valentine's Day look for you. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekel. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit. As you're watching, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave, share with all your friends, and let's get on with the video. Guess what? I have contacts in. I asked that question the other day if I could wear contacts, if I wear progressives and I have them in. I can see, I can read, yay, I'm so excited. So it'll be interesting to put on makeup when I have contacts. I haven't worn contacts. Well, I actually never could wear contacts. I tried when I was younger. Because I had astigmatism so bad, it never worked out. I had LASIK eye surgery back in 2003, I think. But of course, with age, I'm having a hard time seeing to read, so I'm excited. All right, let's look this up. So what does the nine and one benefits mean? This doesn't say that it has an SPF 15 and I'm sure it's because we're in Canada because on the website it does say it has an SPF 15. If it doesn't have a DIN number on the package, then they can't claim that it has a sunscreen. It says long lasting finish, transfer proof, anti dullness, vitamin complex, 24 hour hydration. Let's check this out. Please match. Yeah, I think that's going to match. Yeah, that's going to be good. Perfect. Should I apply it with my finger or a brush? I have a white shirt on, so I think a brush because I don't want to get it all over my fingers. I'm going to use the BK Beauty 109. Oh, see, why do I wear white? I'm trying to use the daylight again to film. I really like my coloring because this is really what I look like. When I film at nighttime, I look quite warm compared to what I look like in person. So I'm hoping that the light stays with me. It's to the side, so you can see that I have a reflection there. I hope that doesn't bother you. Okay, it's a nice light texture. No, it looks nice. I tinted my eyebrows and eyelashes last night too, so I feel so much better. I did enjoy having everything fair. It was kind of nice to play, but I like the color. Some of you have asked me what I use for self tanner and I always use Luna Bronze Tan. I've been using that for years. I used to sell it actually, because I had my own business. I love it because my tan looks so natural and it doesn't look orange. I really want to try their new product though. It's colorless and I love that idea because sometimes I want to put it on and then head out the door. The one that I use now has a dark tint and I look a little ridiculous until I get in the shower and the tint washes down the drain. Then I look like this. I just washed it off this morning. While I let that sit, let me tell you how many colors it comes in. Oh, does it only come in two colors? No, hold on. No, because I got it in extra light. That's the Rimmel website. Let me check Amazon maybe. Zoom you in a little bit. Right, on Amazon it says very light, light, medium. Is that it though? Come on. All right, on Shoppers Drug Mart website, it's got, really? So on the Shoppers Drug Mart website, it says light, light, medium, medium, and very light. So I guess if you're darker than medium, you don't get to try this. E. That's not cool. It'll suit me, but that's too bad for people who are darker. I wish I had the other colors that I could swatch them for you, but I don't have the finances to do that. I picked up the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I haven't tried this yet. And I got the color Natural. I'm always so afraid that at the drugstore, some kid, or they don't have to be kids actually, has opened these up in our walnut, Walnut? In our Walmart, they have all the cosmetics kind of behind a gate. And I really like that idea because then I know it's safe and that somebody hasn't tampered with it. Plus the theft is crazy. All right, so let's see. Oh, that looks kind of yellow. 
I'm just gonna use a little dab right here and right there. Hmm. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. This is old and tap it in. Oh, that feels quite, whoa. First of all, that's quite yellow and that's really pigmented. Okay, maybe not the best concealer for a very natural looking skin look, we'll see. See, don't judge until you blend it out. I'm gonna use it as my eyeshadow base too. Okay, has anyone used this before? I feel like it's definitely drying down quickly. Like, that can't stop, won't stop seems like it's gonna be true. Let me go in here a little bit. That's where I'm dark. It's just a hair darker than I normally would like. I have to be careful with my contacts now. I feel like I'm not really gonna have to powder that much. We'll know more as I go. Let me see what that says now. How amazing that I can see my phone. Oh, I am thrilled. Play hide and sculpt with the NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. This lightweight liquid won't transfer and has three major complexion musts covered. You can use a blendable matte formula to camouflage imperfections, brighten up your face and contour those features to perfection. Since I feel that that's a little too yellow, how am I gonna fix that? I'm gonna think about this for a second, how I wanna brighten that up without disturbing the formula. I will figure it out. Okay, now let's play with some color. I wanna do some pink. I'm gonna start off with Painterly Paint Pot. Do I need that? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna just put a little bit there. I could see my veins popping through and I don't like that. I always wanna start off with a nice clean palette or canvas. I'm so excited we're going to Mexico soon and it's kind of all I can think about. I'm trying to decide what I wanna pack. I know I'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup, we're visiting my mother-in-law and her partner, and we're gonna go out for a couple nice dinners, but I know I won't wanna wear a lot of makeup going out. I have been ordering some clothes though, so I'm gonna do some fashion try-ons soon. I'm not that good at those, but it's fun. I think I'm gonna go in with Trini London. What about this one? This one's called Passion. It's her eye-to-eye -eye formula with a fluffy brush. I just wanna put this all over the lid. Let's see what we get with just a light dusting first. This formula is really pretty. It stays. What do we think? That's what it looks like lightly dusted. And this is what it looks like if I were to put it on full go. I'm hoping that my husband and I get to go out for dinner tonight. I haven't been feeling well and I haven't left the house in a long time. We tried to do it yesterday and I had such a bad headache, I couldn't go anywhere. But I think I'm getting past it today. So just layering that up again, even more. And I'm focusing more on the crease. Well, that's not as pink purple as I had hoped actually, but it is called passion, so it's good for Valentine's Day. This is the eye that I always have to stretch up. Do any of you go on TikTok? That is my main platform, or it was my main platform, and I have a lot of followers over there, but I really love YouTube, so I've been focusing more of my energy here because I really want to build this community up. I don't want to miss my TikTok family over there, but I kind of can't do it all. I really enjoy this. I tried to have a YouTube channel back in 2017 and it just wasn't the right time for me, but that was always my goal. It was never TikTok. Oh yeah, I'm liking that as I build it. That's pretty. I hope you don't get bored of seeing this, but I use the same color underneath my eye. It's just easy. It makes it very cohesive and balanced. It doesn't take a lot of thought. My eyes are pretty round. I wanna make sure that this right there gets filled. Because if I follow my natural eye, it curves up, which isn't a bad thing. This is a smudge brush by BK Beauty. It is the 207. This is a travel size, so it's pretty short. 
These brushes are what I'll be taking on my trip. You know, oftentimes when I go on a trip, I'll just take shadow sticks. They're so easy, like this kind of thing. I know nothing's gonna break. They're easy to pack. They last all day in the heat. This color is called Joy. I'm gonna use my refer brush. This is a number 21. And I'm using a brush because I'm kind of getting careless and I wanna be particular with where I put this. These were gifted to me a long time ago, by the way. I showed them in a TikTok a long time ago. Yeah, that's nice. Elegant, soft, pretty, perfect for Valentine's Day or any day for that matter. Good. Should I do a liner? I think I'm gonna do a liner. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, I tried doing a wing liner the other day and I really messed it up. So I hope I don't ruin my whole look. This is a color fix by Danessa Myricks and it's in chocolate, but as you can see, it's quite a warm chocolate. Like it almost looks maroon and you'll see in a second. So I think it will be perfect for this look. I'm gonna use this brush. It's an old Mac 263. I don't know if they carry it anymore since they switched all of their brushes over to synthetic. I believe this is a synthetic brush though. Okay. So when I put it on my palette, yeah, you can see how red that looks. When I put it on my palette, I go like this and then I load the brush and tap it back and forth. And what that does is it makes it really nice and sharp, but it also takes the excess product off. So I'm gonna lift up. Everybody's eye has a little bit of a lip, some more than others. Right here it curves. So I wanna make sure to make my lid tight and tap in really close to the lash line. So I'm stamping it on rather than trying to get it in a complete one stroke because I will never get that straight. So tap, tap. This eye is always easier than the left, always. And I'm not gonna wing that out. I just wanted to create a nice deep lash line, but not a dramatic line. I got a little smudgy, so before it dries, I just wanna make sure to clean that up a little bit. I want the line to look like it's part of me, even though it's not part of me. It kind of got smushed a little bit, but I think I'm gonna smudge it out with a little bit of a shadow anyways. Oh, I smudged. Oh, get off of there. It's important to get your mistakes before it dries because this stuff stays. I've been a fan of Danessa Myricks before she ever got into Sephora. I used to go to the makeup shows and she was always there. She's so talented. Which eye do we like better? I feel like I'm gonna like this eye better. I wish I hadn't taken that in, but now I have to do it. Yeah, I wanna smudge this out a little bit. What about this one? This is the CoverGirl Clean Color and it's in Mellow Mauve. This is one of my favorite brushes for what I'm about to do. You see me use it all the time. It's the Refer 03. And I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip into the two of them actually because I like the idea that this is matte, but I love the tone of these, the idea of these two together seem really good to me. And I can't decide. So when I can't decide, I often dip into both. And I just wanna go over top of that liner. Is it working? Or should I use a stiffer brush maybe? Is this smaller? That's a number 23. Okay, let's try that one. Same thing, I'm gonna dip into the two. So if it's a stiffer brush, it will give you a better deposit. If the brush is fluffy or larger, it's going to diffuse it a little bit more. Yeah, that's working. 
Got a little bit on the inner corner here and I don't want that. Oh, see, and that stays, look at, good luck getting that off. That's the Danessa Myricks, it stays. There, <laughs> I just used, I just covered that mark with Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Dune, which is my skin color, and that just covered that right up. Too funny. Jody Manis and I are going live again on the 12th. We're doing it 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and nine o'clock PST time. We're not sure exactly what we're gonna be doing. We just really like getting on there and talking and talking to everybody and, and just getting a bunch of girls together. Let me know though, is there anything in particular that you would like to talk about? Anything you'd like to learn? Do you want us to stick to drugstore? Do you want us to stick to luxury? Or just a mix of everything? The last time we had a great conversation talked about the programming that we get that everybody goes through, every single person, you can't help it. We all go through a sort of programming as we grow up of either, you know, what's necessary, what's the right thing to think, what's the right way to behave, what's expected of us, whether it be through your parents, through school, teachers, friends, TV, media. And then as we get older, some sooner than later, we realize that the thoughts that we were thinking or the beliefs that we have um, maybe weren't necessarily ours originally. And then we go through a little bit of a deprogramming and learning about what we really like and not what somebody else has told us is right. I find it's easier as I get older to be more authentic and realize that a lot of my ways of thinking or possible judgments that I may have had towards people, they really didn't originate from me and from my soul, you know? It's nice too because Jody and I don't know each other that well. So I get to learn a lot about her, she gets to learn about me, and we get to learn about you. I'm hoping that my video quality will be a lot better. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm testing this out still. This is the second time I'm using it. It's a Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume Mascara. High Impact Hi-Fi amps up your lashes for 230% more volume instantly. The fiber infused formula is ophthalmologist tested. Safe for contact lens wearers, perfect, that's for me. Fibers may be visible on the brush. Ultra intense pigments deliver super saturated color for high impact in one application. It's a lightweight gel formula that is infused with nourishing oil blend of coconut, argon, and moringa oils to help lashes feel stronger, softer, and look healthier. So I liked it the other day and I washed it off. It was easy to get off. I really do like the end of it. I love the shape of the brush. I mean, I can't complain about that. So that's one coat. I will never just do one coat. I always do at least two, sometimes three. The brush really grabs my lashes. That's awesome, especially on the bottom. I always find it so much easier on the top. Where shall I get my husband to take me for dinner tonight? We've both really been trying to watch what we eat. That's the thing, eh? When you go out for dinner, you wanna treat yourself? Like we can cook a healthy meal at home. Maybe we should go to the movie instead. Okay, so that's the second coat. So is anybody interested in numerology and horoscopes and astrology? I love that stuff. Bought a book a few years ago about numerology and I figured out the birth charts of all of my family. Is it ever interesting? Especially when I look at the kids, like being with them all throughout their life and seeing what they're interested in now and seeing their struggles and their strengths and their personalities. I look at their birth charts, I'm like, this is so good. This makes so much sense. All of it makes so much sense. If parents knew their children's birth chart at a young age, it would help them understand the path. I think the biggest mistakes parents can make is to think that they know what's best for their child. We really don't. They're their own people. They have their own path to take, nothing to do with us. Our job is just to make sure that they're safe, encourage them to find their strengths and passions, and let them grow. We have a mother, son, and cousin now come to clean our house every Friday, and I was still eating my lunch when they came, so I started doing their birth charts. It was fun. As I was doing Bridges numbers, Jesse, the younger guy, which would be her nephew, just stopped and started listening. And I looked over and I said, Jesse, do you want yours done? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> it was so funny. So I didn't read it for them. I have to look at the book, but I just sent them all of the information on their numbers. It was really cool. So this is the Color Stay Brow Creator. This is in soft brown. It says it's gonna last up to 16 hours. It's got a micro tip, which I prefer. By the way, this was recommended by all of you. It looks like it has something like this. Where would this be on here? Oh, so I just, okay. I just took this part off 
and there's the powder there. I don't see me using the powder. Let's see how this goes. Finding the right color for me sometimes is hard because I don't want it too red looking and I don't want it too ashy because I'm a natural ginger in there. Hmm, it feels a little waxier than what I'm used to. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm gonna use a little bit of my concealer again. I just wanna clean up right there. Cause I have, if you're new here, I have old microblading and I hate it. If you're not new here, I'm sorry, I'm saying it again. <laughs> so I just wanna clean up that line. I wanna use my Urban Decay Slick Day Brow. I really, really like this. Allows me to see where I missed and it's not sticky. This is where I'd like to add a little bit more now that I have the hairs out of the way. That's just me filming a video and being picky. Would I be picky if I was just going to Costco? No, I wouldn't. So don't worry about it too much unless you really enjoy it. I keep saying that in all my videos. Makeup should be fun, not stressful. And hopefully my easygoingness will be contagious. Now that that's set a little bit, I'm just gonna go back in here and fill this area. Yeah. I'm gonna get some bronzer and blush on. I've been using a lot of creams lately. Maybe I should use a powder. Let's change it up a little bit. I have Fenty Beauty Island Tang or, ah, let's try it. I'm gonna use BK Beauty 111. It's a little bit of a stiffer brush. Tapping it on my hand. No, that's not too pigmented. I kind of forget this one actually. Just gonna tap here first just to see when I'm not sure about a product, I always place it where I don't mind it being darker. It's the same with my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, everything. That's good, I like that. Do I have a mark there? What is that? My skin isn't looking perfect, but that's okay. My skin feels good. Okay, now that I know what that's like, I'm gonna just kind of bronze my face right up, why not? Just around my hairline. I wanted to use this, I keep forgetting that I have it. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Blush and it's number 51, which I don't know what the color is, but I'll put it up here. It's quite pretty. Oh my God, I didn't use the e.l.f. powder. I'm not used to using powder blushes anymore. It looks a little drier than I'm used to. It's not dry, but it looks more matte than I'm used to. Like this area has all that glow and I've lost the glow there. So I will use a highlighter. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Pink Glow ever so slightly. I'm just gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush actually and swirl it around. Ooh. Just dust it lightly. Gotta be careful, cause that's where all my lines are. But that's why I like this, cause it's so buttery. Has more of a wet look to it. It's a classy highlighter. Maybe a bit there, why not? And maybe a bit there. Oh, I have a lip liner. I'm not a fan of this type of pencil. I prefer a wood pencil like this. Anyone else? Here's one by MAC. This one is called More to Love. Now, does this exist? Nope. Why did they do that? Yeah, see? Look it. Like, I know this is old, but why? Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to use the one that I wanted, even though it looks ugly. I'll use the prettier one, I have two of them. This is called Pronto, and this is by Glow Skin Beauty. It is the color I'm looking for, so. These last a really long time. Yeah, I like that color. 
I knew that's the one I wanted. You know when you have that idea in your head? Is that too brownie looking? I think so, I want a pink. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. This is by YSL. And it's number 124. Yeah, that makes me happy. Noticing that this is not blended right here, I don't like that. I'm gonna buff it a little bit more because I don't wanna see a stop and a start. That's good. So I do find that I'm still a little bit dark in there. I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter concealer just to pop that up a touch. I'll use the same brush. Oh, I hope I don't ruin it. Actually might be nice with this underneath it. Yeah, that feels better. Just in that corner, my plan worked. Do I need a little bit more? I think my lighting's different now on this side because the sun's going down. Oh, how long have I been here for? All right, should I do this? All right, so on this side, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. and on this side, I'm gonna use the House Labs. So this is e.l.f. That's really where I feel like I need it, right in there. A Little bit on my forehead. This side I'm gonna use the House Labs. Let me turn the lights down a bit. My lighting's getting all funky now. Wow, I'm really shiny there. This is a really good example of not comparing yourself to people on camera because you can see when I put my lights down, more texture, right? You see in there and all in there. It's important. I always say that when I get compliments on my videos. I say thank you, but then I remind everybody that I have really good lights. It makes a difference. Let's check this side now. What I see is it definitely has more of a glow. And in that case, I can see my pores much better with the e.l.f. Halo Glow here. You see? So the House Lab smoothed the texture. It's a hard word to say. And this one did not smooth out the texture. And that's what you have to be careful of when you have a glow in the name, if you're dealing with texture. Let's do this one again now that you know what I'm looking at. So there's no shine on this one. So it's not attracting the light and it's not attracting somebody's eye to that area either because it's absorbing the light. I hope you can see what I'm talking about. You may not agree and that's okay. Do you see what I'm looking at there? Compared to here where I don't see the pores, but I do there. I mean, I noticed that. Let's try it on my chin. Remember extreme close up with Wayne's World? That's how I feel right now. This side is the elf. And this side is house labs. I definitely like this side better. It's brighter and I can see less texture. Let's go over this side now with house labs and see if we can see a difference. It's a slight difference, but there's a difference. I hope this video helped you in some way. I'll leave the links to all the products that I used in the description box for you. I try to always include Canadian and US links. If you decide to use them, thank you so much. It does help out my channel, provides me with a small commission, and I put that money back into the products that I show you. But no pressure, I'm so grateful you're here with me. If you don't have time to comment, a little smiley face does the trick. It does help the algorithm know that you like my channel. And mark it in your calendars that Jody and I are going live on the 12th at noon EST and nine o'clock PST and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.